My name is Ralph Friedrichs, and I'm with... Uh, Cookie, Rosemary. Okay. Cookie. So Cookie and I have been talking, yes. and uh, she was just uh, testifying that she knows a few people, uh, this and that. Uh, she does smoke, but that's about it. So you were saying you did go to AA and you know, NA. Years ago, many years, AA, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, saying, I'm not against them, but you know, like, uh, and some people have a higher power. My, my higher power, yes, I choose to be God, I'm morning and Christian. But the thing is that they, what happens is that it's like, you feel like over and over again you're talking about the same thing over and over yep. and over and over I know you know I see when God I, I, when God delivers you you know what I'm saying that's it I mean not that, not that you're not tempted every day yeah. and I know you every day yeah I'm sure that you're tempted absolutely to get high again. Ab absolutely and there are many people out there and they even have about the heroin that they, they, it's, it's horrible yeah my first husband I met him I was 17 he was on the methadone program. Right. And you know what that is? A government high. Wow. That's all that is, a government yeah. high. Yeah. And I thank God for these places that, you know, for recovery. Yeah. That people can go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, it's... But you're it's, absolutely right about the temptation. I mean, I can walk into... Every but day. But you know what? Every I, day. Here are things that I think about. The consequences. Yeah. And am I serving my Lord then if I'm yeah, doing that? Because right. wouldn't I be a hypocrite to sit here and, and tell yeah. you not to do it if I'm going to do it? But you know what? One thing I do know, God's grace and mercy. And I tell people, if you have a slip, God forbid, you pick yourself up. Absolutely. And you start over. That's what I tell everyone. One day at a time. That is a good from one yep. day at a time. Yep. You know what? No, but it's true. Pick yourself up. Don't ever go back into the old abusive ways mm -hmm. and, and take yourself into and move forward. The reason I felt that AA wasn't helping me is I needed to be more active. Oh, thank you. How you doing? Hi, I'm Ralph. Yeah, nice well, meeting right, you. you know what? I needed to be more active, and this is my way of doing it. If on here, on the oh, card. Oh, here, what you doing on, now, right? Yeah, this yellow card on the back of here. Okay. On the back, there's a yellow card. There's going to be a website on there, okay? Which, oh, I'll get it. Right. It's www.clearviews. Right. Okay. Right on here. Uh, right there. All right. Go on there, and I have over a hundred videos that I've made already that have been in schools, that have been in the jails, that have been in AA meetings. Go on there and take a look. I will. But, but what I will tell you is that the reason I came up with Clear View is the name Clear. You know what I decided to do? Clear. Community Lessons Empower Addiction Recovery. Wow. It is your lesson and my lesson that's going to help whoever's going to listen to this tape yeah. recorder. Community Lessons. And my other business is Clear Reform. Community lessons at, uh, empower addiction recovery. Reform means to transform, to reform you. That's funny, you know, you're saying that because the church, they get ready to go to the rise of the Yeah. When you become born again, you become transformed. You have reformed. That's it's very, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Know? And that, that's yeah. the name of that. And right now, wow. I just became an addiction recovery coach after graduating from school. Okay. I'm an optician by trade. I've been doing that for 30 years. Ah, you mean I? Right. So right now, for, right now, what I'm doing is I'm doing this for free to build up my self-confidence and how to deal with people. And keep you, like you said, it keeps, keeps you. me active. It keeps me active because what I learned at the university at a program right. is only out of a book. One-on-one -on -one interaction is my oh, best lessons down, in the right world. Down. Yeah, and uh, being that I'm originally from the neighborhood here, oh, I used to walk okay. to this liquor shop and walk to my house on Bogota Road and drink 15 shots of vodka just in the one walk wow. to get my fill. Now we've moved to the Hamptons, my wife and I. We okay. still have a house. All right. But uh, I decided to come into my neighborhood that I was, well, and still am an alcoholic, but I've learned to live with God it. Because you back here. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? You're always going to have that addiction. Always. It's how you always. live with it and how you conquer it. But you know it. what? One thing, that that that's who Jesus died for. He died for the drug addict. Yeah. He died for the alcoholic. Yes. That's who he died Amen for. Amen to that. He didn't die for the people that are walking. Not that he loves everybody, mm -hmm. the rich, the poor. Yeah. But that's who he sat with the sinner. Yeah. And that's who he died for. Absolutely. So you in a perfect spot right yeah. here. Let me yeah. tell you. I spoke to him the this other area, time. oh my God. Yeah. Oh. I used to come here uh, yes. years ago to help him with uh, other things. and uh, I knew him many years ago before he... There you go. Many, many and years. I created Master Beach Outreach 2011 when I was still an alcoholic and God still let me write well, my we, own... We will pray for you because believe me, it's needed. It is yeah. needed. But I speak about your book of life and my book of life. We all have chapters in our That's book right. of life. We do, yes, we and do. And the last chapters in your book are the most important chapters because God will forgive no matter what the chapters were before. God will forgive you for that. But you know, my problem always was forgiving myself. I know, that's the... I know the, But I if God's willing to forgive you, forgive exactly yourself. now. Yeah. Now, I, I've learned that. 
yeah. and learn to forgive myself. Exactly. But it took a lot. I'm going to be six years old. Oh, wow. Well, a few and years older. 1978. Wow. I gave my heart to Jesus. You know, longer than that. Wow. I gave my heart to him, yeah. But I have men, like I said, I have many, many people I know that have been, they have testimonies, and I know they would talk. Right, right. They would talk and, and share with other people. Right. I have a cousin that, di that died. She's with the Lord now. But because of drug addiction, when I went to see her, she looked 90 years old. That's what the drug did to her. Wow. Her she said, Cookie, if I can tell you anything before I take my last breath, she oh, said, Lord. tell him, don't do the drugs. Oh. She looked 90 years old. Oh, my she God. was a gorgeous, beautiful girl. She was maybe 40, 50 years old. Oh. And she looked 90. That's what the drugs did to her. You know? But see, it's hard because that tough love. Yeah. To get somebody to get that help. Right. People you have to have that. People don't realize the it's addiction hard. is the devil. And it doesn't matter if you're black or white. It doesn't no, matter no if you're race, rich no or color. poor. It doesn't matter. If you allow it to be in you, and you know what? I don't buy anyone telling me that they can't do it because they can. But you need to have two things, the will That's right. and your higher power. Yes. If you don't have, if yeah. you only have one of those, because I've always had the higher power. I was born right. as a, in a Christian family. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. I was raised Catholic. But I never had the will until I hit rock bottom. I can tell you the exact date, oh. June 22nd <laughs> of 2013, I hit rock bottom where I just knew if I didn't do something right there and then, my life was over. For my oldest son, because of, and people don't realize, it is, they say the genes, there are also the spiritual world out there. All right. As sure as there's a God, there was a, there was a, a Satan. Yes. And there are strongholds that, yeah. of alcoholism, of drug addicts. But my first husband, like I said, I met him. Well, guess what? My son, my oldest son, became a heroin addict. Yeah. It carries on. It's not just in your genes, but I, I, when you look at my videos, there's a video, it's called Role Model. The kids look at you as the hero. Yes. So if you're going to curse in front of them, they're going to think it's okay. If you're going to hit domestic, they're going to, right. if you're right. going to drink or smoke, they're going to say, well, my parents, that's why you have Jerry Springer and Maury and all those oh, guys in business. Yeah, oh, God. Because it's monkey see, monkey do attitude. We as parents and grandparents, in my case now, yeah, we, we, are, yeah, yeah, we, we have to be role models. We do. And it took a lot of years, but you know what? God forgave me up until... June 22nd, 2013, and my new life started at that yes. point. And I feel that it was God that's telling me I need to help me by helping others. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps, and I was a lay leader in the Marine Corps, which is a pastor. That's what I did in the Marine Corps. Wow. But I was still an alcoholic, so God just let me run my own life until I oh, knew yeah, I had will. to reach out to him. He will. See, God, God made us with a free will. Yeah. He didn't make robots. Yeah, exactly. We had the choice. Like my, my son that passed two years ago, all right, my, my son. Peter, uh, I have seven kids. To, uh, September fifth, he hit a tree on William Floyd Park. Oh no! He's with Jesus, but uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little. I, you get angry. God. I was. I was. And I said, I, I don't know what. And my my pastor, my friend, said that it wasn't his time to go. The enemy robbed him of his life. Yeah. He was in his thirties. Yeah. All right. I mean, he was. He had. He was. He's. I think he sold marijuana. He was low in his car. When I went down to get his property, they gave me, they kept the, the, the they gave me the scale, everything. I don't know, only God knows. Yeah. If he, if he started a new job, he was working two weeks, it was five in the morning. I don't know, God knows. Right. But because of my first husband was hit by three cars. Oh my God. I was 23. I did not want the autopsy. My kids wanted me to get it. I said, you know what? I don't want to redo autopsy because it doesn't matter. Because of my first husband was, it tormented me. I read it and it goes into every detail. Oh, wow. And I, for years and years and years, I did not want to read that. But I, I know my first husband, are you kidding? I used to worry every night he, was, he would overdose and die in, in the bathtub. One thing he respected, he never did it in the house, never brought home to the house. Right. But I knew when he came home. Yeah, he was a closet. I knew when he came home closet. that he was sitting there nodding. I said, please don't lock the bathroom door. Right. Please don't lock the door. Every night I, I, I'm afraid I'd find him dead in the bathtub. Wow. Dead in the bathtub. But people, they're afraid to talk. They're Do you realize to... that your life experience, for somebody to actually see how you're making those faces to me one day would be so worth it. People, like I do my videos every day in front of the camera, an hour a day with a lot of commercials, and I'm sponsored. If you ever, you call me, if you ever feel comfortable enough, I would be. That's okay. You know? Yeah, that's okay. My mom doesn't, my wife doesn't have it on top either. But if you ever do, call me, okay? Because your testimony 
when people see a face and they they're going to hear the voice but if they ever get to see your face that's going to have an impact yes i interviewed a childhood friend in texas who lost her husband and her brother-in-law and her mother all within 12 months and she became so heavily involved in drugs and alcohol oh yeah and she started hating god but now she's recovered from all that and I mean, when I first ever died, okay, because we were starting a new life, mm -hmm. we were moving to Florida. He was going down, and he'd been, you know, clean for like a, free, a while, and we were going to move, and it happened December 16th. I'll never forget that day. Wow. And nine days, I get a phone call. He was only there uh, a few weeks, six weeks maybe. And I get a phone call, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe uh, he's in the hospital, okay. No, no, there's nothing they could do. There's nothing they could do. What do you mean there's nothing they could do? Then it hit me. All right, I was 23. I've been very young in life, that life is short. Yeah. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. No, absolutely not. And when I think back when we were together, I, I, I think back of all the craziness and the, you know, and, and it's just, and you try to tell people because you want, you know, you try to tell your kids. But the second one, I was single parent 10 years before I remarried. It wasn't easy, it was hard. And I try to tell when I, when I married my second husband, he had, was an alcoholic, schizophrenia, depression, you know? Oh, wow. And it's like, you tell them, but it's like my mother. I didn't listen to my mother. I didn't listen to my mom. I, I was rebellious. Do you think you knew it better? No. You think, like I always thought but we, too. We want to tell them. We, we love you. We don't want to see you. Yeah. They got to go through it like I, yeah. like we went through it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we want to tell them, but tough love is hard to do. It really is. And, and you're, I mean, you've lost people. And people, and, that, wow. people that have like, they say, oh, I can't do that. They want, But you know they're going to buy drugs. Today. You know they're going to get high. You can't control you everything. Know, feed them. Bring them, you know, bring them food, give them somewhere to sleep for the night, maybe. But once you give them that money, you know they're going to buy drugs in yeah. So, think. Yeah. But it's, it's not easy. Well, you know what? You know what? I, I said this in one of my videos. I don't know if you realize, but every person has a legal drug dealer living in their own home. Oh, yeah. And you know where that is? It's in your own bathroom. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. is the Mr. Medicine Cabinet. I choose to and call. And with these? Yeah. Oh, they'll get hard. I mean, when I was a kid, they took... In high school, you know, they had the bags and the, and the strip of the glue. Nowadays, there's so much more. Right. They're doing the cough medicine, this everything to get high. Yeah. And the, too many parents work, yeah. and they don't even know what their kids are doing. They don't look on the computer. They don't check up. I tell them, what is that? To my daughter, I tell her, look on her phone. Yeah. What is she doing? Who is she talking to on the phone? Yeah, exactly. Oh boy. Wake up, America. Hello. <laughs> you know, on the news, it's going to be just recently the heroin. Yeah, it's going to be on Monday in Channel yeah, 12. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you know, wake up. Hello, everybody. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's walking wow. around like everything's okay. It's not. Yeah, yeah you're right. But listen, if. See, alcohol is a legal. They say alcohol is a legal. That's one of the worst. It's I, because you're driving a car, they're possibly. About the, the crack and the heroin. What about alcohol? Yeah, alcohol and marijuana. Legal. Yeah, now they're legalizing now they're, marijuana. Exactly, and the other state is working yeah, its way. I know. Medical use. Yeah. yeah. Medical use. Yeah, that, that's a... Uh, everything's about money is what it really comes I down to. That. Everything's about money, but... Listen, I want to thank you, and... Uh, no problem, honey. Uh, I have your... Give me a call if you... Let me just shut this off here. All right. And uh, give me a...